we're under an overhead repair on a soda can. So what I'm going to do is put this one, a couple spikes through it to kind of hold it in place so I can make the repair. So I'm going to nail it up here. Keep it moving. There's my neighbor doing something crazy over there. There it is. Pull it out a bit. See that okay underneath now? Alright, let's heat it up and see what we can do with this. So, apply heat, check the temperature. Oopsie, a little bit. Pull the heat away and go right over there. Let that cool and add a little bit more for strength. Cool. I'm going to add a little bit more. Let that go solid. Put the rod in the flame and heat it up a little and then add a little bit more up there. And one more time. Okay, we'll let that cool. I'm going to take it down and we'll check the strength of it. I mean, let these cool. Don't put water on them and cool them prematurely. And there is the repair. She has a very high surface tension, so it actually will up, go up and penetrate into the pores of the aluminum. The trouble with overhead is it's a thin layer, so you got to keep adding a little bit more. I recommend just patching these. It's a lot easier than, uh, and stronger. And uh, you can grind that off and make it look smoother. Well, let's see what happens when we put the hammer to it. All right. So, that is still pretty darn warm. But we'll go ahead and check it. It gets full strength when it cools. That's not bad. So we'll start here. You get away from the where the hole was. The further away you get from the rod, you get holes. See that? Let's look at the inside of it. Because the aluminum's not as strong as the rod. But see, that was the first hole I poked. There's a second hole and there's where the repair was. It didn't pin it straight through that. So there's your overhead repair. A larger hole. And there's a repair area where it did not go through when I hit it there. Go. Okay, now we're going to try poking it back through. Can you see that okay? Get right on that repair and... There it is. You could not poke it back through. 